Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I'm sure you have heard, if you haven't heard, you've probably seen the face of this man. Basim Youssef who is an Egyptian comedian and many people don't know he's also a surgeon. And he has been instrumental in exposing Israel's hypocrisies and crimes very recently since October 6 plus 1. His video of course went viral on Piers Morgan when he used his satirical comedic approach to get the message across and win the hearts and the minds of many people. This of course has made him a target. And on X which is supposed to be known for his freedom of speech, there is great talk of his page disappearing. Many people are alluding to the fact that it could have been banned. Even the news channels are getting involved and questioning why, what could possibly have happened because we have received nothing official from him. Even so, it doesn't stop Israel's official Twitter handle from giving their two shekels. And they commented with a sarcastic bye, which is ironic since as they are the only democracy in the Middle East, shouldn't they be mourning about this when freedom of speech is being curtailed? No, of course not seen as since October the 6th plus 1 has taken place, they have killed over a hundred journalists. And secondly, why on earth should they care what an Egyptian is saying about anything? What is the need for them to get involved in this comedian's fate on X. It sounds like a great bout of insecurity to me and it also validates the instrumental contribution Basim Youssef has made in this PR war against Israel. So like I said some are assuming the worst and saying that he has indeed been banned. Otherwise he would have announced or said something which made others look at his last tweet which was critiquing the use of the term anti-semitism which he claims has now been watered down and stifles legitimate criticism of Israel. In fact he also posted a quote of Shulamit Aloni, whom I ended up using this week in Speaker's Corner. There, there was somebody called Shulamit Aloni. Yeah. Shulamit Aloni used to be in the cabinet, is the Israeli cabinet, and she won the Israel 2000 prize as well. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a very prestigious prize in Israel. She said anti Semitism. What anti Semitism? It's a trick. It's a trick. I remember this quote. Yeah. yeah. It's a trick. We to divert any criticism, legitimate criticism towards Zionist Israel. Yes, I mean it is. So yeah, this is not something that is an opinion of his, this is something that even Israelis acknowledge and have said. Not forgetting there are others that are saying that his account has been deactivated because the error message that comes when you search for his page is reminiscent of other pages in the past that have also deactivated their accounts. But then that raises other questions which is why on earth would he deactivate his page? Was he threatened? Was he coerced? And who was first on the crime scene? Oh, hello Israel. Who has motive? Oh, hello Israel. And lastly, what's even stranger is that when you search up his profile on X, only two accounts come up, namely Elon Musk and number two, the butcher from Israel, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu. Incredibly strange and fishy if you ask me. But like I said, nothing official has been mentioned, but what is there in front of us is indeed dubious and worrying. I hope Basim is okay and we hear about what's happened, the clarifications of it very soon. Let's leave it there guys, until next time. Assalamu alaikum.